On the 23rd of May 2018, Governor Godwin Obaseki signed into law the Edo State Trafficking in Persons Prohibition Law to provide an effective and comprehensive legal and institutional framework for the prohibition, prevention, detection, prosecution and punishment of human trafficking and related offenses in the states. In a bid to further strengthen the law and its implementation to meet desired objectives, Executive Secretary of the Task Force, Barrister Ituan Okumboa said, an executive bill is before the State House of Assembly with every desired aspect couched in its undergoing legislative processes. She said the amendment process will transform the task force into a commission and make it more visible at local councils with adequate funding. The State Task Force Engaged Human Trafficking is undergoing a transformation process. That is when I say transformation process, that is, you know, uh, yeah, I must give this you know, to the executive government himself. You know, that is very much interested in stepping up the tax force to becoming a commission to properly institutionalize it and uh, for sustainability. Advocating more funding creation of more awareness and localizing trafficking in persons, response in council areas in the fight against human trafficking, Executive Director JDPCI Uromi, Very Reverend Father Fidelis Agedo said, the hashtags will continually be used to reinforce engagement with relevant stakeholders to ensure the public buy into the policy reform objectives of stakeholders. The project is sponsored by UCA as a part of strengthening civic advocacy and local engagement scale project with the goal to activate and institutionalize trafficking in person response at local government areas of a low state by 2024, using local government areas from each of the central district as a pilot. This is a nine with the scale project and objective that deal with country trafficking in person. Commander Bini Zona Command, National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons, Unduka Uwanweni said, The only way to win the war against human trafficking was through collaborative efforts of stakeholders and appreciated partner agencies for their efforts in this regard. The NAPTIC, for instance, has adopted an approach of using the whole of society and the whole of government, government ministry, government agencies must be involved, the entire society, individuals, families, communities, traditional institutions, churches, partners, corporate bodies, everybody must be involved because it's an issue that affects the entire society. So, Edo State has always been a shining light uh, when it comes to trafficking in business response. And why other states are now celebrating the launch of a tax force, we are moving a step further to really detain ongoing response. We are moving a step further to say, okay, this beautiful effort that is going on at the state level has to be also be activated in the local government level. So Edo State have always been a shining light as far as uh, trafficking best response is concerned. And with this, High point of the event was the formal launch of the advocacy campaign hashtags by various stakeholders present as well as questions and answer session on ways to trend the message of Kotele human trafficking to target audience at the grassroots. Friday Himoto, EBS News.